In this lesson, we're going to calculate a successive percentage change. Simon invests £100 into a savings account. In year one, the interest rate is 20%. In year two, the interest rate is 30%. And we're going to calculate the overall interest rate over the two years. So a 20% increase. Well, the original amount is worth 100% and we're adding on to that 20% so the overall value is now 120% and we know percentage means divide by 100 so that is 120 divided by 100 which is 1.2 so the multiplier for a 20% increase is 1.2 in year two, the interest rate is 30%. So again, 100% added to 30% because it is an interest. So that's 130%, which is 130 divided by 100, 1 1.3. A 100 pound investment, well, that gives you 100 pounds, which is what you begin with, times it by 1.2 for your first year and times it by 1.3 for your second year and that gives you an overall amount of 156 pounds using 100 pound as your original that gives you a 56 percent increase overall moving on to the next question a 24 percent increase followed by a 15%, well, a 24% increase is 100% added to 24%, which is 124%. Percent means divide by 100, so that's 1.24. A 15% increase, again, 100% added to 15% because you're increasing it which is 115% 115 divided by 100 is 1.15 so we have 1.24 multiplied by the second percentage change and this gives you 1.426 and the original value was 1, so we've added 0.426, which is 42.6% increase overall. For question B, we have a 12% decrease, which is 100% minus 12%, which is 0 0.088, which is 88%. And this is followed by an 18% increase, which is 118%, which when divided by 100 is 1.18. So the overall percentage change is 1.384. And this is a 3.84% increase overall. For question C, we have a 32% increase, which is 132%, and 132 divided by 100 is 1.32, followed by a 32% decrease, which is 100% minus 32%, which is 68%. So we're multiplying the first percentage change by 0 0.68. And this leaves a final value of 0 0.8976. So the overall percentage change is the difference between 100% and 89.76%, which works out as 10.24% decrease. 
finally for question D, we have an 18% decrease, which represents 0.82, followed by a 40% decrease, which is 0.6. So we have 0.82 times 0.6, 0.492. So the difference between the initial 100% and the final 49.2% is 50.8% decrease. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that useful and check out the link in the description for the full lesson.